Let's get into the nuts and bolts. You know, it's kind of we Rick Santelli earlier was talking about the 10 year still 2.5 or below that in terms of the yield. Somewhat surprising reaction this morning, Larry. Maybe people are already looking through this number. You know, give me your take in terms of the bond market reaction in terms of, well, consumer spending was up 1.2 percent, but maybe business investments slowed because the market perhaps somewhat unexpectedly kind of just taking this and moving on. Well, look, it's a blowout number, and I'll just say that President Trump's policies are rebuilding the economy. And actually, the prosperity cycle we're in is gaining momentum, not losing it. It's gaining momentum. So I think that's extremely positive. Let me also add the inflation rate continues to slip lower and lower. And actually, by the Fed's own measure, the PCE deflator uh, for inflation has dropped from 2.2 percent last summer to 1.4 percent this winter, uh, even according to the Fed's own spokespeople from the chairman on down, that could open the door to a uh, target rate reduction uh, in the months ahead. Uh, the Fed is independent. I'm just expressing my own view. The president Larry, happens Larry, to agree Larry, with that how, view. Larry, so I'll just put that be, in there. How can you be talking about a rate cut after a 3.2 percent GDP print for the first quarter? Well, because, look, this is, again, by the Fed's own lights, David. They are now targeting inflation, which is coming in way below their own benchmark metric of 2 percent. So I'm just saying, look, here's a point. Supply they do side, have a dual mandate, Larry. They do have a dual mandate. Right. But it's not growth that we worry about. As inflation has come down, growth is actually improving or at least sustaining a 3 percent growth rate. So I basically like that story. Look, supply side tax cuts, deregulation, opening the energy sector, pro growth trade reform. That's improving the supply side, the production and investment side of the economy. One stat that's very interesting from the durable goods yesterday uh, from December through March, the uh, core capital goods spending, core CapEx as it's called, is actually growing at a 10 percent annual rate. That's a terrific pickup. And at the same time, we saw a huge retail sales number uh, in April. So what I'm saying is we are clicking on all cylinders. The inflation rate is coming down. The Federal Reserve will be looking at that. Uh, I know old style analysis says uh, fast growth means higher inflation. You know, I've never bought into that. I still do not buy into that. What you're getting now is more goods more goods and more production and more output, 3.2 percent in Q1. That actually is uh, chasing few, uh, less money, and so therefore the inflation rate's coming off. I think that's very significant.